Hello everyone and welcome back, hope we are well. I'm going to review another Citizen Watch on this channel today. Now before we start with today's video, if you like this channel and like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. It really encourages me to keep making these videos for you and it really really helps in keeping the channel alive. So if you are watching my videos unsubscribed, please don't be shy and take this opportunity to subscribe to the channel. Now let's get back to the watch that we have here with us today. So from the price point of view, this watch retails at 399 Australian dollars, but I only ended up paying $95 online for this watch, and I can tell you straight away that it is a lot of watch for that amount of money. So let's see what I'm getting for my $95 and what you can expect to get for whatever amount of money you end up spending on this particular watch, should you decide to buy one for yourself. Starting with the reference number, so here's the reference number for this watch now you can see caliber 8210 written underneath this has miota's caliber 8210 automatic movement in there i'll talk about the movement a bit later on as well but let's start with the face of the watch which i really really like i like the um the simple yet classic look of this dial you get a combination of black and white you get black dial with white luminous hands and white luminous markers and i like that the com this combination of black and white follows through to the chapter ring as well it is a simple looking dial but i think it does the job really well you get mineral crystal on the top and you get a stainless steel closed case back now you don't get a pillow with this watch all you get is that cardboard style stand but i'm not going to complain too much for the price that i paid for this watch I'm not getting a pillow here you go here's the um closed stainless steel case back there is some information written there on this uh, case back as well you can see water resistance of 10 bars so you get 100 meters of water resistance so this watch can easily handle light water activities like swimming snorkeling etc but don't go diving with this watch it might be able to handle diving activities you get this uh, beautiful stainless steel case on this watch um, you have a brush look uh, along the top of the case and you get polished look along the sides and that follows through to the bezel as well you can see the polished uh, bezel around the um, around the sides and you have brushed look along the top now talking about the dimensions uh, the case measures at 42 millimeters and the lug to lug distance is 46 and a half millimeters that shorter lug to lug distance really helps in reducing this case size a little bit. It gives you the impression of about 40 millimeter case rather than 42 millimeter case. I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean later on when I give you a wrist shot of this watch on my 7 inch wrist. But it doesn't wear like a normal 42 millimeter case which is, which is really handy for this watch. The case thickness is 12 millimeters. Again, it's not that thick so it really helps in reducing the, uh, the case or the overall look of the watch on your wrist and gives you kind of slim profile as well the lug width is 22 millimeters it will come handy should you decide to change this leather strap for something different but i really like this leather strap i mean if you were to buy a strap of this quality um, and this thick it will cost you at least 50 to 60 dollars alone so this strap here covers most of the uh, the cost of the watch for at least that what i've paid for the watch in my case so that's the uh, those are the dimensions on this watch uh, now you get Miota's caliber 8210 automatic movement in this watch uh, runs at 21,600 beats per hour has 21 joules gives you more than 40 hours of power reserve and fully wound so you can uh, hand wind the watch uh, to hand wind the watch all you need to do is rotate the crown in a clockwise position when the crown is, is in uh, position zero or in its uh, original position give it about 40 uh, spins and you'll be able to fully wind the watch now you can change the date on the watch by pulling the crown out to position one and then just rotate the crown in a in an anti-clockwise position you'll be able to set the date just be careful with one thing when you're setting the date on this watch avoid correcting the date when the watch hands are between the hours of 9 a, 9 p.m and 4 30 a.m because setting or correcting the date during this time period may prevent the uh the date from changing on the following date so just be careful of that and to set the time on this watch all you need to do is to pull the crown in its final position and that's where you'll be able to 
set the time on this watch. Now you can see the, um, I'm changing the time on the watch, but the uh, seconds hand keeps moving, it's not still. So there's no hacking on this movement, but again, I'm not gonna complain too much for the price that I've paid for this watch and, and for not having um, the hacking option on this, um, on this watch. Now, the accuracy on this watch, um, Citizen claims for it to be around minus 20 to plus 40 seconds per day, but what I've observed so far that it runs at about plus five seconds per day, so doing much better than, than the claims uh, made by Citizen, so doing really, really well in that uh, department. I'll give you a quick wrist shot on my uh, wrist as well for this watch to uh, show you how it looks on my seven inch wrist. Now I'll classify this watch uh, somewhere between a field watch or a pilot's watch. I, I, th I know it's a bit bigger for a uh, for a field watch. I like my field watches to be around 38 to 39 millimeters, but seeing that um, it doesn't look or wear like a 42 millimeter case. Here you go. It is a beautiful looking watch. I mean, for $95 from a known brand on the dial, you really can't go wrong with this watch. And even if you knock it around a little bit, I mean, it's not gonna hurt you too much paying $95 and... So here we go, Give you, and again, that leather strap, I mean, it speaks quality as well. Give you a final close up of this uh, watch before I wrap up today's video. So this concludes our review today. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. I'll uh, see you with my next video shortly. Until then, stay safe and look after one another. Thank you.